picking up from where the first movie left off, Insidious Chapter 2 has the Lambert family still experiencing some paranormal activity, but now it seems to be connected to Josh Lambert and his past. Sadly, Chapter 2 is not as good as the original, and the problems with that are based around the story, but I'll get to those in a moment. First of all, there are some good things. The effects were the same good quality that we had from the original film. They did better with the lighting, which was a complaint I had with the first film. And the acting is still good. But then you have issues where the story is doing some strange things. And halfway through, it just didn't feel scary. The, the film just didn't feel right when you have seen the original. And I watched the original before I went to the theater to watch this one. Now granted, I've been sitting on the review for a while, but that's just because I haven't gotten around to doing it and I had requests to take care of. But back to this. I'm going to tell you right now, I give it a 2.7 out of 5 because I'm about to tell you some details pertaining to the film that I don't like to reveal very often. So, you've gotten your rating. If you don't want to hear anything relating to spoiler material, you can stop the video now. Now then, there are some strange things happening here. We have time travel, which I did not know ghosts could actually do that in the further. You've got Parker with three forms rather than one that we normally see spirits in. Uh... He takes the form of how he looked when he was an old man. He takes the form of the Black Bride and a form of a child when he was a kid. Uh, I don't understand jumping into Parker's memories and trying to destroy what originated his evil. I, I don't know how the hell that works. You saw a moment ago that there was a spirit in the further that Carl could see, but Josh couldn't. Why? Uh, they're in the further. How the hell can you not see spirits there? Or why is it one person can see a spirit and the other can't? That doesn't make any sense to me. When you're thinking about all this stuff in the theater and you're scratching your head wondering why it's happening, that's not really good. Also, there are indications that a third film will be made, so hopefully it will be better, but if it's following the pattern here, expect it to be very close to a 0 out of 5. Because, really? Time travel? What the hell?